For camera bugs, the next revolution is already on the horizon. It's digital photography, and even before digital cameras are widely available, researchers are already extending the technology to create some of the wildest trick photography imaginable. CNN science editor Charles Crawford reports. You focus and press the shutter button, just like any conventional camera. But that's where the similarity ends. Instead of film, the picture in this camera is electronically recorded on a tiny magnetic disc. On a playback machine, the photograph immediately can be displayed on a TV monitor, or within a few seconds, can be printed. This kind of digital still photography is now on the market, but at AT&T Bell Laboratories, researcher Gerard Holtzman has developed a programming language that turns a computer into a digital darkroom. From this famous picture of Albert Einstein, a single computer entry projects the genius on the point of a cone. And what if nuclear physicist Robert Oppenheimer could have put his head together with Einstein? In this remarkable composite, it is impossible to find where one picture ends and the other begins. Such effects are made possible by recording conventional photographs on a high-resolution image scanner. The information from these two pictures is digitally stored. Now it can be manipulated and combined by the computer picture editor. The possibilities are nearly endless. The resulting three faces of Eve actually is made up of thousands of tiny dots. The pictures appear to blend together smoothly because they consist of more dots per square inch than the human eye can process. Holtzman has done similarly striking edits with these still photos by Ansel Adams, showing what the famous moonrise over Hernandez, New Mexico, would look like with different backgrounds. Equally intriguing is what is possible by animating the still pictures from the digital darkroom. What Holtzman is doing here remains largely a laboratory adventure, but he also makes a convincing argument that digital cameras and pictures will all but replace conventional cameras and photographic chemicals within five to ten years. Charles Crawford, CNN, Murray Hill, New Jersey.